the angels yes. in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. And sign my name. My name. Hallelujah. I love that song. Yes. And I normally get Lady Bowman to sing that song before I bring the word when we go. It's about it anyway. Jesus. But first, give him honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And to the angels of this house. All right now. Pastor Eugene Taylor, Lady Taylor. All right now. Lady Bowman. All right. And Lady Holland. Amen. I used to stay in Hollis, but uh, no, it's white. It's white. You call me white. <laughs> and all the other angels that are in here with us. Thank you, Lord. A lot of people will say there is nobody here. Jesus. Oh. But God has who He wants. Amen. To Amen. Be here. Amen. Amen. This is a special day for my brother. And I'm so glad to be before you. I ask you to bow your heads with me in prayer. Jesus. Father in heaven, Jesus. hear this again, Lord, a few of your humble servants Jesus. have gathered here this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus. We gather before you, Father, for no form or fashion other than to give you all the praise and all the glory. To lift you up, O oh, Heavenly Father, and say thank you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for your grace. Yes. And your mercy. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, O oh, Lord, for your darling Son, Jesus Amen. Christ. The one who was the living sacrifice and died on Calvary Cross for a wretch like me. And Lord, you allowed him to go to the cold grave and you defeated death. Thank you, Lord. And you raised him up three days later with all power. Father God, we thank you for that power thank you, being here with us right now. Yes, sir. We thank you for that thing of love that touched each one of us this morning. And now our eyes come open and we found ourselves still in our right mind. Thank you, Lord. Still have the youth of all our limbs. Still Lord. able to do for ourselves. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Now, Father, we fall before your throne on behalf of those that we're sick and are sick and shut in in the hospital, nursing homes, and at home sick, Father. We claim the victory for him, Father, in the name of Jesus. He said, by your, by your stripes, we are already healed. And Father, we thank you for those of us that you've already healed. We have miraculous power, Father, over cancer, over diabetes, heart trouble, all the things, corona, all the things that it's affecting people today, Father. And Father, we just want to give you all the praise and all the glory. Yeah. Now, Heavenly Father, I ask you to remove stuff from me. And you take control, O oh Lord. And use me, Father. Use me to bring forth your word. Oh, In you. Jesus' holy name, I pray. Amen. 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 You know, I. Uh, we are all getting up in the age where Thank you, Lord. the oldest one that's here. Thank you, Lord. And as I have lived, I have learned that we're having so much to be thankful for. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, if you, if you look at the situation of the world today, people just simply have the wrong attitude because of the lack of knowledge of our God. Say that. Say that. Say that. And once we get the, you get the knowledge of God, you change your whole life. Amen. And you know, I have to, I have to give God the glory because some 30 years ago, he tapped me on the shoulders and turned my life around. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And people, I see people complaining about everything that is going on today. 
but they forget to be faithful. Thank you. Don't realize how good God is to us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to speak to you today for a few minutes from Isaiah the 55th chapter, starting at verse 1. In fact, we're going to do verse 1 and 2. Yeah. And three. Isaiah 55, verse 1 through 3. Will you please stand? And it reads Ho, oh, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and be that has no money, come ye by. And eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? And your labor, your labor for that satisfies not. How can this unto unto me? And eat ye that which is good, <laughs> and let your soul delight itself in fatness. Incline your ear, and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies. Okay. You may be seated. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes on the topic of a surely attitude. Right now. A surely attitude. We all know the, the, uh, who David is. David was one that was after God's own heart. And David in the 23rd Psalm, verse 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. But if we go back to the beginning of it, David says, The Lord is my shepherd. You see, a shepherd is one that leads the sheep. And you got to understand the sheep is a tender sheep and they have a tendency to wander off. But the Lord is, is his shepherd. And if you stay focused on the shepherd, Say that. you will never get lost. Mm -hmm. But I look at our world and people are mm -hmm. lost out here. They worry about everything that's going on for the politics. Don't they know that there is only one God, one true and living God? Mm -hmm. And John warned and and verse 1 said, In the beginning was, was the Word, and the Word will, was with God, and the Word is God. Amen. And there was nothing made except by Him. So He is our Creator. He is our Sustainer. Yes, he, is. he is our Provider. Yes, he is. Philippians 419, He says, I will supply all, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That's right. People get upset by the things that are happening. But you got to remember his words that he said in Romans 8, 28. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord to whom are called according to his purpose. But you don't have to worry. Because he intercedes for you. Amen. You know, you have to stand on his word and you have to know his word for yourself. Yes. Um, we, we learned that, that Jesus, even Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy labor. Yes, he did. He said, Learn of me, and I will give you rest. He didn't talk about sleep. Nope. He talked about giving you rest from the pressures of the world. Amen. When you don't have to worry 
called walking in righteousness. And the righteousness is following the lead of God. He speaks to each of us. You know, in the Old Testament, he had chosen ones that he spoke to. But when Jesus died on Calvary Cross, All right. <laughs> the veil in the church was ripped. Say that. So that the Spirit comes to each one of us, but it's up to us That's to right. incline our ear right. and do yes. what the Spirit yes. say do. Yes. But okay. most of us, we look, we walk by sight and not by what? Faith. Amen. We need to have faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. And I'm going to tell you once before the time I was like that. Amen. But when the light bulb came on, Jesus, yes. hello. Yes. Thank you, Lord. When the light bulb came on, yes. you will see a difference in your life. Amen. Nothing, even illness, don't affect you. You know, I'm looking at the fact right now, how they say, I'm all disabled with my legs, but nothing's going to stop me from doing God's will. Amen. Because he is my strength. Yes. He is my buckle. Yes. He is my wheel yes. in the middle of a wheel. Yes. I'm not going to hold you long, but I want you to go with me to uh, the, the 14th phrase of that 54th chapter of Isaiah. And you will see that these words in righteousness shall thou be established. That's right. But you see, the problem with most people, they don't want to walk in righteousness. All right. Right. They that. want to walk in their own way yeah. instead of doing yeah. what God say do. Say That's right. only one righteousness. Yeah. Jesus says in, in John 14 and 6, I am the way, the, way, the, truth, the truth, and the life. Right. And no man can make it to the Father except through by me. So we have to walk in that that way. Amen. That one way. And it says, Thou shalt be far from oppression. Thank you, Lord. For thou shalt not what? Fear. You can't fear what's going on around you. If you fear what's happening all around you, you're going to take your eyes off the prize. You're taking off the prize. You look at Look at, look at Peter. When Jesus got walking on the water to them, mm -hmm. and they, they saw him, they were afraid. Mm -hmm. Okay? But he said, have no fear for it is I. And Peter said, if it be thou, beg me to come to you. All right. He stepped out on the water and was bold, was walking on water. But when the wind came by, he took his eyes off the prize. Yep, and he starts sinking. But one thing about it, even if you sink, don't you know I have some sinking time? Hello. Hello. Don't you know you're going to have some sinking time? Hello. But if you just call on the name Amen. of Jesus, <laughs> he will reach down and lift you up. Yes, he Do you know. understand what I'm saying now? He said, Amen. have no fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Mm -hmm. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Mm -hmm. You see, if you look at Matthew 4, mm -hmm. Jesus was led into the spirit in the in the wilderness by the Spirit for a purpose. That's right. And that purpose is to be the example for us. We don't have these things come against us. But you got to learn from the teaching of God's word. The devil told Jesus, if you be the son of God, turn these stones into bread. But what did he say to It is written. God left us a book, a guideline. A guideline, just like we get a book for a new car we we'll buy. As long as you go by that manual, your car will run. <laughs> Always a good thing. But if you don't go by that man, they're going to break down on you. So the same thing, if you don't go by the word of God, hello, hello. the word is going to break down, but you're going to break down. You're going to break down. You become spiritually dead. You see, and we have to learn to understand that God created everything. Look at that next climb. The next verse says, 16 says, Behold, I created the smith that blows the coals in the fire, that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waste to destroy. You know who 
Yes. yes. We're we'll like serving. You, you got to share yes. the Lord. No matter what's going on in your life, stay focused on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He said, Behold, I have created the spirit that blows. You know, even the problems that you have that come up is created, but it's created for your good. Hello? Hello. It's created for your good. Yeah. And look at verse uh, 17 says now. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of whom the Lord. And their righteousness is in me, says the Lord. Now, Look what he said. The weapon that formed against you shall not prosper. Uh -huh. Why? Because you have the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have his, his word in you, and you live in according to his word. Mm -hmm. Don't you know how many people have come up against me in the, in the last few 20 years? But guess what? I love everybody because I know my father is going to provide yes, everything yes, that I need. Yeah. And then we look at 55 and 1. He said, Ho! You know what Ho means? Get your attention. He's trying to get your attention. Yeah. Open your eyes and see what I have for you. Everyone that thirsts. You know, thirst means the water. Like John 4, 14, the water. The living water. Ain't talking about no the water that we drink. The living water. Christ says, I am <laughs> that living water. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. Yes. I am the bread of life. Yes, we have to understand, you know, it ain't talking about physical eating or drinking. Mm -hmm. It ain't talking about getting it into your soul. Yes. Get to know him what? For oh, yourself. Amen. And see, but we learned this in the sense, and, and be that has no money, mm -hmm. it's free. Lord. It's free. You just got to have a surely attitude. Surely. <laughs> My God is with me. If no weapon formed against me, shall prosper. So as long as I walk with Christ, I don't worry about the things of the world. I got a testimony. I can tell you why, how I've gone through. Two tours of Vietnam. I read. Yeah. All of the agent orange and everything, yeah. the foliage I walked through it yeah. was looking at me. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. Thank you so you got to have that surely sure. attitude. Yeah. It was nobody, nobody. but God. Sure. Nobody, nobody. That surely attitude. Yeah. My Lord was with me. Yeah. Sure. I, I can remember one time I was riding on a track over there and, and I looked back and saw a friend I saw on a tank. So I jumped off the track and was waiting on the tank. Uh, and the track went about 30 feet from where I jumped off Jesus. and hit a man. Hello? Jesus. Nobody. Jesus. Nobody but God. Jesus. And so we have to tell yeah. the world. He said we should be witnesses for him. Yeah. Most of us worry about the message going on instead of giving God the glory. Amen. Thank you, Him, for what He's already Amen. done. Amen. Thank you, Him, for what He is doing. Amen. Thank you, Him, for what He is going to do. Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. Jesus. All you have to do is look in your refrigerator. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All you have to do is look in your home. You got a roof on you. Yeah. You, you, you got lights on, you got air conditioning, you got all the luxuries of life. Yeah. You didn't do it. Amen. You did it. Nobody, you didn't do God nothing. Did. But he was gracious enough to give it to you. Yes, he did. And he gave it to us for his purpose yes. and not ours. Yes. And then he said now, in verse 2, Wherefore, do you spend money for that which is not bread? Right. You know, you look at it. I said, 
too many people out here take their money and spend it on everything else that they want and then beg for what they need. Say that. Yeah. Say that. Say that. Amen. It's true. Amen. Spend the money on for what they want. Yeah. And then beg for what they, for what they need. Think the government has to give them everything. Come on. When I was growing up, the government. Yeah. The yeah. government was there, but everything we got was through the church. Hello. With all the information of what college to go to, what uh, how how to dress, how to care about yourself, medical church. help, everything came through the church. Jesus. But look at the sign. Yes. Mm -hmm. The churches are so dormant. Yep. Well, amen. <laughs> that nobody wants to be. Amen. It's all about a show. Amen. It's all about a choir singing entertainment. Jesus. Instead of teaching God's word, amen. where people can understand amen. His word. He said. And Amen. your labor for that which satisfies not. Right. Your labor, you work so hard for something that don't mean it. All right, say it. I can relate to that. Say it. Yeah, you all think about it. Mm -hmm. When we were young on Friday, yeah. and we were getting ready. Shut up. Getting yeah. our clothes, bringing yeah. our clothes out. Going out there buying all the liquor. Right. Going out there, that old smoky joint, thought about having a good okay. time. Thank you, Lord. And then come Sunday morning, we couldn't even get up. Couldn't get up. But I come by to tell you. Thank you, Lord. Because of his grace and mercy, we are still here. Thank you, Lord. 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 And let your soul delight itself in fatness. Yes. David says, the Lord is my shepherd. Shall not, shall I shall not want. Yes. He makes me to lie down in a green pasture. <laughs> you know what, green? Everything you need it's is right in that pasture. Right. Amen. You don't have to right. beg no man or no woman. His name is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Do you do? <laughs>
spirit and in truth. And, and, and worship him in spirit and truth. He said, everybody will know that you are my disciple by the love that you have for one another. And the Bible tells me that he came to his own. And his own did not recognize him. The Bible said that he came into Jerusalem on Friday, mm -hmm. riding on a donkey. Yeah. You know, they were looking for a man coming with a big white horse mm -hmm. and a big sword. Mm -hmm. But he came in riding on mm -hmm. a donkey. Yes, he did. Lonely, yeah. meek, and humble. Yeah. But Isaiah told us in Isaiah 53 that the government was up on his shoulder. Uh -huh. And so they were looking for him to be a big fighter. He is a fighter. Amen. But a spiritual fact. Right, right. And you have to have that personal relationship with them. Yes, and they were laying down the palm trees. They were laying down the clothes and saying, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest. Which means, save us. Save us. But they, the next Thursday, when they got my father from the Garden of Yosemite uh -huh. and took him to Kayaf's house, the same crowd was saying, crucify him, crucify him. And the Bible tells me that they spit upon him, they beat him, and they knocked him around and talked about him and, and testified against him, but none of them could get that line together. And they took him from there over to Pilate's house, the governor's house, because they didn't have authority to kill him. You know, we trying to get something done, you don't have any authority. Why are you going to go against him? Hello? Amen. And Paul said, what we got here? He said, we want you to, to crucify this man Jesus. Oh, what has he done? Uh -huh. And they said, well, he, he's coming in with uh, teaching something that is not our doctrine. Uh -huh. See, we have to know this is not our doctrine. All right, it is Lord. the doctrine of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Amen. Everything in the old, everything in the new right. points to Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, I am Alpha, Omega, the first, and the last. You know, you saw him coming in, Amen. you know, the sin going out. And Pilate said, well, I'm going to question him. And he asked him, said, are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said, you said it. And Pilate said, well, I can't find no fault in this man. So bring me a pail of water. I'm going to wash my hands because I can't find nothing wrong with this man other than love. He said, but I do give you a prisoner every year. I have this one murderer, the thief and a liar, by the name of Barabbas. And I have this man, Jesus, whom y'all accuse. Who do y'all choose? You know what they did? They chose Barabbas. It's like most people today, this place should be full. But they have been choosing everything Amen. else. They're washing cars. At Walmart. They're, they're at Walmart. They're, they're everywhere else except hearing the word of God. He told us on the Sabbath day is his. Well, we are to rest in him. He said, forsake not the assembly of, of yourself as some do. And more some do out there than some do in here. Amen. Hello? Amen. And Pilate said, it gave, gave them a rabbit. And they took Jesus back to Calvary's house. Mm -hmm. And they spit upon him, they beat him, and they put a crown of thorns on his head. Mm -hmm. now, the word tell me that the blood run down his brow. Mm -hmm. And early that Friday morning, mm -hmm. they paraded my father through the streets of Jerusalem yes, with an old cross on his shoulder. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells me that he fell down. Mm -hmm. But for your sake and mine, he, he got, got up. up. He got <laughs> and up. he made it up all the way yeah. to God's yeah. the Hill. Yeah. And when he got on God's off the Hill, they didn't take his life. He laid his life down. He allowed the man that he loved so much to put nails in his hand. Mm -hmm. They put nails in his feet. They stretched him wide and they hung him high. Yes, they, did. And they forgot, he said, if I be lifting up, I will draw all men. And, and, and the Bible says, 
said he stayed on that cross from the sixth to the ninth hour. But before he gave up the ghost, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And he gave up the ghost. They pierced him in the side, and out came blood. They took him down off the little cross and laid him in a borrowed tomb. See, somebody knew him. Go get up. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to let you borrow my grave site. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they put him in that tomb, but he stayed there all day Friday night. All day Saturday. All night Saturday night. But early. Early Sunday morning. He got up with all power. And that power is here for you today. You just have to get to know him for yourself. His name is he. Would you please stand? There might be somebody here today that don't know this man, Jesus. Are you somebody that want to, want to come for prayer? This is the time. Bring your prayer.